Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this virtual fisheries forum evening all about the National Tench Heritage Alliance movement. My name's Sam and I work as an engagement officer for the Angling Trust. I have done for about seven months now. I'm also involved on a committee for an angling association local to where I live in Yorkshire. This presentation I'm about to give is just a, a quick case study run through of what this angling association has done with one of its stillwater fisheries to develop it as a, a tench orientated fishery where they are the dominant species. So just to offer a quick background to the fishery, as you'll have seen on the previous slide, the official name is Queen Mary's Dub, but the lake's also known as the figure of eight lake due to its shape. As you can see by that aerial photograph, it's got a widening at each end and a narrowing in the middle. Um, it's approximately three acres in size and it's situated in North Yorkshire, which historically is a part of England where tench as a species haven't become anywhere near as well established as they have in the Midlands or further down south, let alone particularly grown to specimen size. The lake was given its name by Mary Queen of Scots when she visited the site in 1559. And that gives you a rough idea just how long the lake's been there. It's, it's a mature, well-established fishery where there's a very broad range of fauna and flora and tree-lined banks for most of the way around the lake. Here's a slightly larger scale map view of the site that I've borrowed from DEFRA's Magic Map Tool, just to illustrate the, the coverage of the triple SI designated land that's present within the Ripon Parks. And as you can see, both Queen Mary's Dub and Blackheath Pond, the two fisheries managed by Bradford Angling Association, they're well encapsulated within these triple SI boundaries. As I'll touch on later, this causes complications in, in terms of managing these fisheries. Here's just a few photos that I took of the fishery last week to offer you more of a first person insight into what the fishery looks like and, and the kind of habitat that's on offer for the tench. Depths at the fishery range from around two foot in the shallowest end right down to 12 foot at the deepest end. Since Bradford Number One Angling Association took upon management of the fishery, it's undergone quite considerable evolution in that time. It's always been a mixed fishery as Queen Mary's dub. However, from 1970 till around 2000, it was a carp orientated fishery where carp were the dominant species. Um, at this period, tench, bream and the other species present were, were fairly stunted and rarely reached specimen size. Queen Mary's Dub was quite renowned as a specimen carp fishery over this era and it produced fish to over £40, which for Yorkshire were very desirable, attracting anglers from far and wide. Sadly, this wasn't to last as around early 2000s, there was an increasing issue with otter predation and the, the carp stock had to be moved into the protected neighbouring Blackheath pond where an otter fence was able to be erected. This left behind just the tench and bream, at which the tench very quickly became the dominant species, really thriving in the absence of the carp. So with the absence of carp, it wasn't just the tench that really began to thrive with the extra space and resources. As you can see, there's, there's good bream as well as healthy populations of rudd at the fishery. Um, it's very noticeable that a, a good proportion of our members really value being able to target these kind of species using traditional methods and tactics. So to further assist the establishment of tench as the dominant species at Queen Mary's Dub, the club implemented an assistive stocking programme over a period of four years. From 2013 to 2017, 50 mature tench were introduced at sizes of three to four pounds. These tench were transferred from some of the club's other stillwater fisheries where carp were present and the tench once again were noticeably stunted. These newer, top, these newer tench have integrated extremely well with the older fish stock and this is illustrated by increasingly good fishery performance season upon season as well as good growth rates amongst the fish. The stocking density of Queen Mary's dub is around £250 per acre this is an approximation as the club hasn't performed any fish survey work on site for a number of years, but it's planned that the club isn't going to increase this stocking density much more than its current state. In terms of managing the fishery, there's a lot of external influences that really impact what the club can do on site, as well as how they regulate anglers. Various fisheries management practices are implemented on site, but only a few of them have relevance to the goal of promoting tench development and dominance. The main take homes are that the club doesn't undertake any large scale weed removal, 
This ensures that there's ample larders of natural food as well as safe cover for the fish to feel, you know, protected and, and just be able to, to have cover from predators, etc. Um, the club also has it, it doesn't intend to increase the stocking density a great deal more than its current state, which, again, just goes to ensure that there'll be ample space and resources available for the fish stocks. The club hasn't felt the need to implement any kind of supplementary feeding regime. The, the good fishery performance and growth rates of the fish currently being observed uh, indicate that this isn't needed. So in terms of management of the fishery going into years ahead, um, like many fisheries, we've noticed an increasing number of cormorants visiting the site. This is a concern for survival rates of juvenile fish and silverfish populations. So the club's looking into introduction of scare tactics that we have implemented at other fisheries such as agricultural gas guns. Another development is that the club's looking at potentially introducing crucian carp in low numbers. This is another heritage fish species that we feel would integrate extremely well within the current fish stock dynamic and offer our members an angling opportunity that is extremely rare in the, in the area of Yorkshire. This won't distract, however, from the fact that Queen Mary's Dub will remain a tench orientated fishery and the club hope that anglers continue to support, appreciate and enjoy what this fishery represents in a modern fishery scene where carp angling and, and carp orientated fisheries are the main. So probably the exciting bit that you've all been waiting to hear is uh, just a run through of the, the current state of tench productivity at Queen Mary's Dub. So before the club decided to take a stance of developing the fishery to be a tench orientated lake, the average size of, of tench was sort of around three to four pound with fish beginning to peak around six pounds. They very rarely exceeded that kind of weight bracket. Since the club's taken measures to develop the fishery as a tench orientated lake, five to six pound is now the average size. Fishery performance is very good with multiple captures by members, relatively common under good conditions and at the right times of year. But it's not just numbers with a noticeable number of increasing specimen tench being produced by this fishery. Specimen tench of seven, eight and even nine pound plus have been caught in recent years, which again for the area of Yorkshire is really quite exceptional. It's not just specimen tench that are on offer, however, the fisheries managed to produce other specimens with big bream over £10 and rudd between £1 and £2 being reported by members. It's an exciting time for the fishery and we look forward to seeing its productivity in even more years to come. So that brings us to a nice end for this case study presentation. Hopefully that was enjoyable for you all. So for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening and I'll be waiting at the end of this virtual forum to take any questions about this case study to which I can do my best to give you an answer. Thank you very much and bye for now.